All right, now that we're all warmed up, it's time to get started with our real lesson today. We're gonna to start with Song of the Wind, particularly focusing on our circle bows. So I have a few warm-ups for us to do together to really get our circle bows warmed up. And then a challenge for each of you have the chance at home to earn one of these beads if you play along. And when I see you next time, that will earn you a sticker. So let's all get into rest position. Try to follow along. Can we hold up here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Amazing. Let's get some good mirror hands. Let's all wave to ourselves. Hello, beautiful. Wonderful bow holds. All right, so let's go ahead and land on the E string. Our first warm up is going to be so easy. You're going to be like, Miss Caitlin, are you really making me do this? But let's please do this. I know I can't make you do it since you're not in front of me, but let's follow along on the E string. We're just going to do five circle bows. So just watch first. All right, let's do this all together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Amazing, so easy, right? Okay, I wonder if this will be any harder. We're gonna pick up our bow and move over to the A string and do the exact same thing. Five circle bows on the A string. Let's go ahead and just go right in all together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, so good. All right, I have one more warm up. Hope it's not too hard. We are going to start on the E string. And when we do our circle bow and land, we're going to play F sharp. All right, so let's watch it from this angle, C, C, E, F sharp, E, F sharp. All right, five times in a row. Five, six, seven, eight. F sharp, one, two, Amazing. All right, let's go ahead and get into rest position. Now it's time for the challenge. Each of you gets to earn one of these beads if you play along at home. We are going to do the tricky part. I know it's almost become so easy for us, but we're going to do the tricky part of Song of the Wind. The F sharp, D, A, F sharp, E. We're going to do that seven times so that each of you can earn one of these beads, okay? So the first time we do this, this one is going to Lumen. Okay, let's all start in rest position. Follow along. All right, I just want you to listen first. Going F sharp, D, A, F sharp, E. Oh. All right, this one's for Lumen. All together, five, six, Seven, eight. Amazing! All right, everyone stay up. Stay up, your violin's up. Here you go. To Lumen. Okay, the second time. This one is going to Ruby, okay? This one's for Ruby. F sharp, D, A, F sharp, E. Five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful job! Here you go, Ruby. Okay, we got five more. This one is for Juliana. So let's all do this one for Juliana at home. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome! 
Great, great job. I know you're playing so beautifully at home. Okay, this next one's for Marigold. Let's all do this together for Marigold. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, I can tell we're getting better each time we're doing this. So good. This next one is for Alice. Five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Okay, two more. This next one is going for Nathaniel. I hope you're all playing along. You're each earning your bead, your sticker. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Amazing. All right, this is the last one. Let's make it our best. This one's going to Jacoby. Saving the last, the last one for best. Let's all double check our position. Make sure we have a good F sharp on the tapes. Five, six, seven, eight. We did it. You guys did the challenge. Amazing job. Okay. Before we move on to our games, I want us to play the whole Song of the Wind all together. So I will do the intro, and you wait for me to count you in, okay? High toes, high toes, high toes now. Okay, you guys did some awesome work. You all deserve a little break. So you can all put down your violin because we are going to play a game. I know we're not here, so I can't actually do elimination, but we are going to do one to three rounds of freeze dance, virtual freeze dance. So I'm gonna trust that when I stop playing on my violin, that you are gonna stop dancing at home. And if you recognize any of these songs, please sing the lyrics as loudly as you can so hopefully I can hear you all the way from your home to mine. Wait, all right, so I'll move around, 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 freeze. Okay, no more moving until you hear the music.
Okay, we have one more game before we get back to work. We're gonna play four rounds of Guess That Sound! So I'm gonna play four notes on the violin. I will tell you what the notes are as I'm playing them, but then I will play one note, one note all by itself, and you have 10 seconds to guess the correct note. If you can get a parent nearby to supervise this and confirm that you are guessing the correct note within 10 seconds, you will get a sticker for each note that you guess correctly. So I'm getting my timer up right now. So you know we're all not cheating. No cheating at home. Okay. This first round. I'm gonna make it a little tricky to begin with. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the E string. So we have E, F sharp, G sharp, or high A. I'm hiding my fingers. Here is the note. 10 seconds. Okay. The results are in. If you guessed the note was high A, you guessed correctly. Amazing. All right. Round two. We have. E, F sharp, G sharp, high A. Hiding my fingers. Here is the note. And 10 seconds. One more time. Okay, 10 seconds is up. If you guessed the note was F sharp, you guessed correctly. Good job, wonderful job. Okay, two more rounds. I'm gonna switch it up for you guys. Hope this isn't too tricky. We're gonna go over to the D string this time. So our notes are going to be either D, E, F sharp, or G. Here's the note. Ten seconds. You guys are gonna get this one. All right. The results are in. You guessed the note was F sharp. You guessed correctly. All right, we have one last round. So if you haven't won yet, you've really got to put on your listening ears for this last one. You can get a sticker if you guess correctly. Stakes are high. We're gonna do the D string again. The note will either be D, E, F sharp, or G. Here's the note. The 10 seconds has started, so I hope you're guessing. Three. All right. If you guessed the note was D, you guessed correctly. 
amazing, amazing, amazing. Please post your results on Homeroom so I can make sure to get you a sticker if you want any of those rounds. If you didn't have a parent nearby today, make sure they sit around for your next lesson. Okay, I'm going to take a quick water break right here. I recommend that we all stay hydrated during this time. It's so easy to forget to drink water, so let's make sure we're all drinking water throughout the day. <sighs> all right, everybody. So, I have a story for you. You might know my friend John. I've talked about him quite a few times. And with everything going on right now, he is in quite a predicament. He decided since he had to stay inside for so long for the next uh, few weeks or so, he was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and flee to my Aunt Rhody's house. He did it. He did it again. He went all the way for three hours to his Aunt Rhody's house. And when he got there, do you think that um, he had any supplies there? No. Do you think he had any food in the pantry when he opened that up? Nope, no food in the pantry. Do you think there was any food in the fridge when he opened that up? Nope, there was no food in the fridge nor the freezer or the pantry. So, he knew, he was gonna have to get so creative with his meals for the next few weeks. So, you know, I wanted us to imagine right now that we were John and that we had to find something to eat in our room that's not food. So if you had to find something to eat, let's find three things. You can all find your own things. I'm gonna find three things in my room that I would have to eat. Oh, you know, if I had nothing else to eat the next few weeks, I might settle for this dirty sock. I might have a dirty sock for, for breakfast. Okay, well, what would I have for lunch? It's another thing I would have to eat today. Hmm, oh, you know what? I think that I would have to eat, I would have to eat this, this book of mine. It would be, probably very filling. It's a very big book. It's pretty weighty. So that, that might fill me up for lunch. All right. Well, I still need dinner because I, I do eat a lot. So what's the last thing I would find in my room to eat? You know what? Luckily, I don't know if you saw him pass by the camera, but I do have a cat and I did stock up on cat food. So if worse came to worse for dinner, I could have, you know, some cat food. So those are my three things. I would have a dirty sock, uh, a big old book, and some cat food. I don't think it's actually not, not the worst meal that I've heard of. So if we all want to sing, go tell Aunt Rhody together with your own items. Go to Aunt Rhody, John is very sick. Go to Aunt Rhody. John is sick in bed. He had a dirty sock and a big old book. He even ate some cat food. Go to Matt Roni. John is very sick. Go to Matt Roni. John is sick in bed. All right, well, of course, this one's gonna just be a story. I obviously expected to do a little bit of work, so can we all grab our violins again and get into rest position? And I am going to choose three people to choose their items to post on Homeroom so that I can do their lyrics next week. So at random, I have all these beads assigned, so I'm gonna pick a random student. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? All right, Nathaniel, if you can post three things that you found in your room to eat, um, 
I will sing that in our song next week. All right, two more students. Who are we going to have? Oh, oh, Lumen, if you can post three things that you found in your bedroom or living room or wherever you practice, if you found three things that you would eat, please share it so that I can sing that one in our song next week. Okay, last student. Ooh, I'm, gonna, I'm not looking. I'm not cheating either. I never cheat. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. But we have Ruby. Ruby, if you can post three things that you found in the room that you're in to eat, please share it so we can sing it in our, um, in our song next week. But for today, we are going to all play Go Talent Roadie together. I know that we're still working on learning the song. We haven't really played it too many times as a group, but I think that we should try and work through the whole song. I'm going to give you 15 seconds to get out your violin booklets if you need to get the notes. Okay. All right. Uh, three, two, one. Okay, let's get into rest position. I hope you're following along. Let's go ahead and let's hold this up here for let's do 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, good mirror hand, bring it all the way back. Bowl checks, landing on the A string. What is our first note of go tell Aunt Rody? Everybody tell me loudly so I can hear you from your homes. C sharp, that's right. You guys are so smart. Okay. I will do the intro, so just listen and I will count you in. high toes high toes now beautiful job if you felt like you didn't quite keep up with me for the whole video feel free to rewind and practice that song as many times as you like with me at home that is the beauty of this virtual practice we can work at our own pace also i'm offering one more incentive for you if you can post a video at home playing all of go tell at roadie you will earn yourself one ticket. So I cannot wait to see your practice videos. And until next time, happy practicing.